Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is John of cookingwithjohngruber.com where you can find recipes and video lessons on how to cook, many of which being traditional cooking methods. But this particular channel is, um, or this series on my channel, is all about healthy eating or at least portion control. Today we're going to be making one of my favorites and it's going to be a souffle. Now, the servings that we're gonna make are for two people. So I'll do a recipe for two people. <laughs> Cut that out when you get a chance. Okay, so um, today is a wonderful day and I do have the time to cook breakfast and with this souffle, I'm gonna show you a little trick It'll make it really easy, really tasty, and it's honestly going to be quite healthy for you. So let's get started. Cue the music and I will be right back. Hi, welcome back to Again, today I'm going to be making a souffle and one of the most important parts about this is maybe not necessarily the ingredients. The ingredients aren't super healthy, um, but they are in a way because we're not going to be overeating them because we are portioning ourselves strictly with using smaller ramekins. Now these are probably a little bit more than four ounce ramekins, but our, my recipe here will not fill the entire thing. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is I've taken a piece of uh, piece of bread. It is not toasted and I, it's one slice and we're going to be like, it's kind of cut in half, um, pretty exact actually, which is great because we're going to be making kind of like a Swiss cheese sandwich first of this. The first thing you're going to be needing is a little bit of mustard. Mustard doesn't have very many calories. It's mostly vinegar and grain. Um, this is a grain mustard. Oh, I kind of want more than that. But anyway, you can measure this out. Uh, that's about a tablespoon of mustard. Let me just get a knife here to spread it around. Okay, doesn't that look delicious? Now, because I'm only using one portion of bread, you, let's see, per each, it's like one, uh, two portions of bread per slice, honestly, according to the FDA uh, guidelines for bread. Now I have one ounce of cheese that I've just cut up into should have three. <laughs> Should have four pieces. Yep, there's the other fourth. <clears throat> uh, cut up into four four slices because I knew that's how much would it, it would take to go across all the entire bread. See, whoops, fit, fits across the entire thing. Wow, that was a silly blooper. Okay, and then I'm just going to mash those together and followed by cutting and I don't have my big knife so I'm just going to be using this one and again just cut this in half this way and then I'm going to be cutting another diagonal because I will want points for this bread Okay, so it's a whole grain bread that I'm going to be setting the points in up and down here. And if they don't stay, but they should, if they don't stay, you can use toothpicks to hold them up on the side. Just remove the toothpicks before 
um, before serving. Okay, so this one's rounded, so it might be a little bit wonky. Uh, okay, so all my my bread is in my ramekin with the points up. I'm just gonna center it back in there. Okay. Now you can add a couple of vegetables to it. So if you want onions, peppers, mushrooms, go right ahead. I only have mushrooms on hand right now. So I'm just using like one mushroom and jamming it in with those. There's one, two, three, four slices and oh, well, three larger slices in the other. Okay. So that part is done. Now I'm going to just be making my egg mixture. I have a teaspoon of water in this bowl already and I have one egg. We're only going to be using one egg and one whole egg. Now you can use uh, egg white. It won't come out exactly the same, but you can get rid of the yolk if you're not eating egg yolks. I'm going to be using that egg yolk. And now again, that with that one tablespoon of water, I'm just going to whip up this egg real quick. That, like I said, was pretty quick, right? And then followed by a about two tablespoons of yogurt um, that would also add to this meal. Now the yogurt just helps make it creamy. Okay, two tablespoons of yogurt. Now you see that I just kind of eyeball everything. If you want to be exact, please be exact because then you can log it into your, you know, your uh, calorie counter or fitness app. Um, So now it's got the probiotics, the vitamins from the mushrooms. Again, you can always add more, uh, more vegetables if you want. Corn is not a vegetable. I'm just saying. Um, okay, so I have a little bit of that all well beaten. I do want to add some garlic, pepper, salt, and pepper um, to this to season. So I'm going to just mix in the garlic powder with the egg mixture, eighth of a teaspoon or a shake, however much you want. If you like fresh garlic, definitely add the fresh garlic. Okay, there's that. Gonna lick off the yogurt. Oh, it's good. Now that is a Greek yogurt. If you wanted to know what type of yogurt it was. So I have my cheese sandwiches and my onions right in there. And I'm going to divide this egg mixture into the two ramekins. I have the oven preheated at about, uh, let's see, 400. And this only fills about half of that ramekin. But that's okay because really it should fluff up in the oven and I'm hoping it does. So there's that, that. Add some salt and pepper on top like I had said I was going to do. I do like, I do like a lot of black pepper in certain things. And this one here, a little bit of salt. And that is ready to pop in to the oven. I'm going to bake it for about 15 minutes at a 400 degree, maybe 450 oven. And uh, we're going to have these, uh, I guess they almost look like Swiss Alps uh, souffles. So. I'll be right back with the finished product. Thank you for joining me so far, and I will see you in just a moment. These cheese souffles have been in the oven for 
just about a half hour. Uh, they look delicious. The bread crisped up. I'm going to try and not burn myself. They are fresh out of the oven. Uh, and uh, the egg mixture did puff up a little bit, like I had said it would. Now you can serve these hot or cold. Um, if you are going to serve them cold, they do, the egg mixture does shrink down. I'd say just take them, like cut them out of the ramekin and serve them on a plate rather than, um, you know, serve them in the ramekin because you're going to be looking for like, where's the food in, in the ramekin then if you do that. But anyway, so it smells amazing. And in fact, it's a perfect meal for either a breakfast, lunch, or even a brunch. In fact, if you want to impress guests for your um, brunch, then have a little bit of this and some fresh squeezed juices and uh, some more other, um, you know, fresh fruits and healthy uh, breakfast items and you are going to be the hit. So thank you for joining me on this episode of Cooking with John Gruber, at least my channel, Cooking with John Gruber, and then of course, this particular series that I'm doing that is a little bit of healthy tips from me. And this is one of the ways is to take your regular ingredients, divide them into, and now you have two different individual servings. You will not be starving. I promise just eat healthy and I love you. I will see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>